There's more to climbing mountains than just showing up in a beautiful place. I'm here in Rocky Mountain National Park with Rainbow Weinstock. Rainbow, you're a full-time guide with Colorado Mountain School. What's the first thing you talk to your clients about when you show up in a place like this? Well, a big thing is for folks to be aware of their surroundings. Okay. Another thing that's important is people need to pace themselves when they go for a summit. I'm the kind of guy who shows up and takes off for the first hour and then I'm exhausted. I guess that's not the way to go, right? That's probably not going to add up. A person needs to have enough energy to get to the top and then back down to the car. So you're probably going slower than you think you should when you start out. Yep. Cool. So what else are we going to be talking about today? Well, I think learning to travel in steep rock terrain is a useful skill. You mean like some of this stuff up here? Yeah, those would be great. Okay, let's go. Wow, this looks pretty cool, Rainbow. Yeah, this is the sort of rock terrain where we're feeling pretty good going up without a rope. Okay. What we want to have is nice, deliberate footwork Okay. as you cruise on up there. All right, it looks like it could be a little bit loose. Yeah, something we want to do is test holds before we commit to them. Okay, how's it feel? Feels pretty good. Why don't you follow me up here? All right, sounds great. Nice, so where to next? Well, I think we can go check out some snow over there. All right, let's do it. So it's getting a little slippery here, Rainbow. Yeah, here in the snow, we actually want to do what's called the kick step. Okay. So you want to wind your foot up and kick it into the snow, creating a platform. Okay, kind of like this. That looks great. You know what could do that? It's even better. You could follow in my footsteps. Okay. That way they're already in force. Okay, I'm right behind you. Oh yeah, that's better. That looks excellent. So we're gonna do something different when we're going downhill. Okay. You wanna do what's called the plunge step. All right. You wanna drop your heel and go straight into the snow. I'm really driving my heel down into the snow there. there Am I go. staying right behind you on this one? No, that looks great where you're off to this side. Okay, great. Excellent. All right. So uh, let's see, we're gonna move efficiently when we get to the mountains, we're gonna check our holes when we're on rock, and we're gonna use the kick step and the plunge step when we hit snow. That covers it. Let's go practice some of those skills. All right, let's go. 